All right, Emily, you little shit. Where you? Oh, please don't tell me Granny Rags is gonna say something. Birds, I've got some seed for you. I could kill her, but I think I tried that. Actually, I haven't. I have no idea. I'm outside, so I'm gonna make a new save right here. Man, I'm like one. I'm becoming one of those people, man. But with a game, with a game like this, though, there's so many options. Like, you know, maybe in Skyrim I'll do that, but like. You know, it's either like me fucking up by killing people or me being detected. That's pretty much the only thing. Like quest wise, I don't really care about seeing the alternate answers or the uh, routes. I'll just do it on my second playthrough. But says. this game, holy I cow, man! Like, laughing, but then see what I can do. there's just there was just so many other things that make me do quick saves like that. Crazy. So that was the VIP exit. Perfect. Perfect. And if you don't have double jump, you can just use these crates down here. By now, like everybody, no, you know, even if you don't have teleport, wait, let me see, let me see. Yeah, cause you can just jump normally. Yeah, yeah. But then from here, where do you go? Like you jump up here, but then where do you go? Let's say for the people that don't have teleportation, double jump, all that jazz. Maybe this is just one of those routes where you kind of need it. Oh, jeez. No, you could even get up here. What am I doing? No, just go up here. Yeah, yeah. Why am I being so stupid? Why am I being so stupid? Somebody, please. Actually, no, please don't answer that. I'm gonna get butthurt. Oh, man. That is satisfying. I like this vision, too. Does he, does he not does he not see it? He should at least have like the uh, semi alerted status or something. No, all right, we picked up everything here. Attention, Dunwall citizens. Due to criminal activity near Holger Square, if he comes the area back, is now under room. lockdown. Watchtowers and support patrols have been deployed. Any suspicious person will be assumed hostile with militants. Whoa, what the hell? What the hell? Seriously? Huh. The, these two abilities, like, I mean, you know what? Even the possessing one, I like. The time bending one, it's just like every now and then. It's just one of those every now and then super badass ones. It's crazy. Weepers, a lot of weepers. Those are the, like, the more I kill, the more they will show up. That's what I heard. But you know, they make pretty good target practice. Like, if I slide as soon as it gets to the second bar, I might... It happened there. But even with the guards, right, I might have a chance at least in assassinating them. Before they hit, like while I'm running towards them, and just slide. And just use that extra bit of distance while I'm crouching. Ready to go back, Corvo? You made short work of things. Get in. Yeah, we caused uh Yeah, we've done a ton of shit. Let's go back. So I still, I still missed one rune somehow. I still missed one rune. So I'll call off painting. There was one in that room, but uh, the like the big green like blueprint thing, but you, but I didn't do it for some reason. Overall chaos? Yeah, yeah, it should be high. <laughs> it should be high. Didn't kill anyone or ghosts, never detected. That's gonna be an amazing thing. But, you know what? Let's continue. Let's continue. A royal guest. Emily is now safe. Um, something, something is gonna happen. Like, this isn't the end of the game. Like, there's no way. That one bald guy's still alive, and I'm pretty sure these guys here in uh, Hound Pits are gonna, like, stab me in the bag. Outsider. There's gotta be more sub subplot with Outsider, too. Even like main stuff, main plot like backstabbing and everything. With her, sorry, with her well-being temporarily assured, it is time to remove the low region's remaining allies. So you did the business, did you, Corvo? I'm not one to speak against my betters, mind you, but if anybody ever deserved their fate, it was those Pendletons. I killed so many of them too. What business are you talking about? 
Oh, I, uh... Grown-up business, girl. I mean, your ladyship. Forgive me. It's okay. I heard a lot of grown-up business at the Golden Cat. Oh. I should concentrate on piloting this boat. Nice save. Nice save. Who are you? You are not her legal guardian. Young Lady Emily, I'm Callista. I'll be caring for you and schooling you while you're with us. Pleased to meet you. As am I. Would you like to see your room in the tower? Can I see it? Yes, you may. You'll get to see it all. The entirety of the hound pits. Good. I think I'll like it here. I'll go with Callista Corvo. I'll see you later. Who's the guy, though? You Wallace. This is fucking Wallace, isn't it? Armed with a blade, you've changed the course of the city forever. And with the Pendleton twins gone, our own Lord Pendleton will assume their votes in Parliament. In one night, you've done more than most men do in a lifetime. I need to speak He's to fishy, you, man. But for now, Lord Pendleton requests your attention. He's so fishy, man. We'll find Lord Pendleton? I guess that's it. Let's just get right to it. Yo, Piero. Yo, my homie. You got any, uh... Oh, I never read that journal, huh? Ask me for any gear you need. You know, I did read this guy's heart, right? So he gets visited by the outsider every night. That's I'm pretty sure that's what I heard. I'm not I don't I don't know why I bought those. I was just like, oh you know, let's use money. Oh yeah, please, bone capacity. Bone charm capacity. Sword crossing. What else would I need really need money for? It unlocks Da -da 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 -da. I guess I'll take Boke. Uh, you know what? No, I'm I'm really fine as it is. I'll just save money in case there's anything I need in the future. Such a beautiful game. Someone help! <laughs> he kind of looks like Steve with Kemi. Corvo. The Loyalist Conspiracy thanks you for your work. I don't know if I can. My own brothers. We never believed that you killed the Empress. It made much more sense that the Royal Spy Master, now the Lord Regent, was behind it, aided by some of his key allies. We spent a lot of money and exposed ourselves to great risk in getting you out of prison. But we did it because we believe that you're the one that can make the difference. Oh, and Havelock's looking for you. That's that's it, Lord. That's 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 pretty much like his way of saying thank you. Looking forward to working with you even further. And I just met Havelock, so I guess Havelock needed to go back to Martha. Havelock, couldn't you have told me what you were gonna say Supplies before? Supplies of Sokolov's elixir have reached a critical low point. Ordinary citizens will be limited to purchasing half a dose per day and cut their hands to form their alliance. The blood pissed as it touched the flames. The guys at Hound Piss? Jesus, is that what I'm reading? The conspirators have found a safe home here. They take great care that they are not followed. The alias sweet with honey to hide the taste of the river ride. The sober speak in whispers, the drunk bellow. Fortunes have been won here, and the lives have been lost. The old man planted a dark corner and drank himself into oblivion. I love this climbing shit that you can do, man. Attention! Your first responsibility is to the city's health. I just wanted to hear what she says, but let's go. Must be reported. All right, my friend. Martin's devised our next move. There's a footnote in Campbell's journal that tells us the Lord Regent's mistress sat for a portrait with Sokolov, the painter and royal physician. He'll be able to give us her name. Sokolov lives on Caldwin's Bridge about half the time, out over the river. The catch is that I'm afraid you've got to head out right away while Sokolov is at his apartment on the bridge. Samuel can get you close to the bridge, but you'll have to find Sokolov. Bring him back here intact, and it'll enable us to make our next move. I can't believe what you've done so far. 
escaping from Coldridge, taking down the High Overseer, recovering Emily. You make this old military man proud. That's it, then. Hmm. Gamble's journal. It's amazing how many overseers he's been blackmailing. It really is the key to the Abbey. Not that the Someone streets around us are the below. Hounds, no riot and money changes hands. Here in one of the more Martin. I'm not entirely convinced everybody here is actually good for the sake of being good. They 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 all have like uh it just makes like a better Attention. character Please development for everybody like plot wise. If someone has like if they have like an ulterior motive than being one dimensional, right? Such a gone. Gone. I've been pressing my ring for one so steeped in courtly manners, is all stew lingering on the ranch of murder. That's what I was thinking. The younger Pendleton, jealous little Trevor, always in the shadow. Like his two older brothers had a lot of power, and now, and like, I'm pretty sure he wasn't gonna get any, so like, he's doing all this to get power. Deals are made here, sometimes under the influence of wine, and sometimes the influence is the point of a knife. It is Wallace. He spies on his neighbors and reports to the overseers. Ooh, dude! Only after a long day of work will dude, he's evil! I still called it! Before the sun rises, they toss any casualties into the river. Men or hound. They all go in. I can't knock him out for some reason. He always eats very well. Even his wife and child so he is evil confirmed, but I I don't think I can act on anything yet. It is in the common man that the Abbey finds its most faithful. He steals from his Do not attempt to hinder officers of the city block. Fucking scumbag, man. In their work, the city is not yet secure. But eventually someone swoons. Then a the fresh bottles are fetched from the cells. Fresh bottles. Jesus. Someone steals from the cells. Like, I love the fact that you can learn so much about a character. But sometimes, some of the things it's just like, you don't want to know. Some of the ones just uh, like... Yeah. We're off to Caldwin's Bridge, sir. We'll get our sleep later. I want to double check one thing. Samuel Beechworth went to sea to forget a hopeless love. He succeeded. The boat in the hands of Oliver Beechworth was sunk in the heart. And respects you. Samuel is a simple man, but he knows the river Redhaven and all its tributaries, down to the smallest inlet. He has many scars, some from the phlegm of the river crests, some from the nameless monsters of the deep ocean. Samuel was once eager to hear Havelock's stories of the sea, but perhaps the Admiral is not what he expected. Hmm. I'm convinced Samuel is a good guy. Like, he seems like the most good, even in the beginning, out of all the characters you meet. Samuel Beechworth went to sea to forget but hopeless love. his opinion of Havelock, that's just kind of, you know? Their fate rests on your effort, on the strength of your hands and of your heart. The youngest ever to pass through the Academy of Natural Sciences. So the law will never forgive him that. I think I'm good to go, but I want to double check, like, where is Emily again? She said the tower, so is this a tower? But like, how the fuck did they get up here? Unless they just meant the end tower. Like, oh, this is... I don't want to look around right now. Of course. I'll give you the tour later when you're rested. I was wondering... Do you think my mother is really dead? I saw her get stabbed, but... Maybe she was still alive and got better. Is that possible? I'm sorry, Emily. But no. She did not survive. Oh. Did you go to her funeral? Was it fancy and beautiful? A train of carriages rode through the city. It was very beautiful. Yeah, it's it was everywhere. And thousands of people wept because they will miss her. I wish I could have seen it. I'm sorry, dear. How do you get up here? I've been planning for Emily. Like lesson plans are together. A schedule is prepared. 
We will make life as normal as possible here. Like, how do you get up here? Oh, wow. I, why am I so stupid? I've seen this before. It's just such a tedious way to get here. It's like, I gotta go to the washroom and it's like, oh. But, but, I don't think I've done Callista yet. She and her uncle, the last of the Kurnow family. So where's Kurnow? Or Kurnow? She dreams of freedom, and then the decks of whaling ships fast after the beasts of the sea. But alas, she's a woman. She sees more than she is telling. Young Lady Emily. Emily, don't do this to me. Poor Emily. Her childhood is lost. She has become a pawn in the games of men. She was bribed with sweet biscuits and ox milk, calmed with stories of magic and seafaring, all to keep her sane in a time of turmoil. She hides her fears. She seeks someone to trust. Emily, come on. Come on. I'm Corvo. She clings to her childhood things, but they bring her only grief covered. She sees more than she is telling. Young Lady Emily. I don't blame her though. I mean, this place isn't as pretty as the Golden Cat, but I like it better anyway. You can see the tower across the river from here. That's where my mother died. Yeah, right there. Seriously? Yeah, we go. We take the boat up here. We put hiding and safe behind these walls. Then about here, around here, I think. Yeah, and then the asylum is over there. At least I like to call it asylum. It's just such fortressy, you know. Sometimes I wonder about the man who stabbed my mother. Who was he? At first, I thought it was Kerno. It looked like Kerno. So I get to stay in the smaller tower while I live here. That'll be good practice. Nah, she doesn't like it already, you can tell. I like Samuel. Perhaps we can take another boat ride soon. Samuel's the only one that I will trust out of all these people. I mean, not because the heart says so. Maybe it's because of the heart says so, but he just seems like a nice guy. Oh, I can finally make it down without, like, breaking my legs or some shit. Off to Caldwin's Bridge, sir. We'll get our sleep later. Alright. Seems like we're gonna do another big arc. Let's save. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What am I doing? Let's go. Let's Off go. to Caldwin's Bridge, sir. We'll get our sleep later. Look at that fish in the background. Look how big that fish is. Just climb aboard when you're ready. 